Like, I'll be honest, you know, I, I, I used to think Devin Haney was the most boring fighter in dance sport. But at least Devin Haney tries to knock people out. It's just Devin Haney just has the inferior, you know, genetics, you know. His genetics are beyond horrible with his sloppy legs and his, his like, his weak body frame and all that stuff, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, he delivered against a guy that we knew it would only be a matter of time. You know what I mean? Uh, Devin didn't put Rolly on the, on the list because, I mean, we just didn't look at him like that. Rolly Romero, a rising lightweight boxer, recently faced Isaac Cruz in a highly anticipated bout. Following the fight, Romero found himself on the receiving end of criticism from fellow boxer Devin Haney, who publicly expressed his opinions on Romero's performance. Devin Haney, a skilled and respected lightweight champion, did not hold back in his assessment of Romero's performance against Cruz. Haney, known for his technical proficiency and boxing IQ, highlighted what he perceived as deficiencies in Romero's boxing skills and overall performance, leading to what some viewed as a humiliating critique of Romero's abilities as a boxer. He, he could have quit when I was asking him if he, if he wanted to stop the fight. He said he wanted to keep fighting, so I take my hat off to him. Of course, of course, that's a fight that, uh, that, that interests me, that, I'm, that, that, you know, that I feel like I can get up for. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Once I'm victorious but, uh, on April 20th, then we'll, we'll... In response to Haney's comments, Raleigh Romero took to social media to address and defend himself against Haney's criticism. Romero, known for his confidence and outspoken nature, did not shy away from the controversy and engaged directly with Haney's remarks. Romero acknowledged the tough fight against Cruz but defended his performance, emphasizing the challenges and difficulties he faced during the bout. He highlighted the competitive nature of the fight and pointed out that Cruz, despite being considered an underdog, proved to be a formidable opponent with his aggressive style and relentless pressure. Furthermore, Romero took the opportunity to question Haney's own performances and record, suggesting that Haney has yet to face and defeat top-level competition in the lightweight division. Romero challenged Haney's credibility and suggested that Haney should focus on his own career and opponents rather than criticizing his peers. Moreover, Romero was recently seen expressing his disdain towards the mockery he faced with the ludicrous job offer. Despite numerous boxing veterans advising him to explore alternative career paths, led by Ryan Garcia, others like Bill and Devin Haney joined in. However, the outlandish offers have sparked an unexpected and intense response from Raleigh Romero. The only fight I care about right now is Ryan Garcia. And then the winner between that and, and me and Ryan gets Geronta Davis. We're going to do this all on pay-per-view, on Showtime pay-per-view. We're going to do this shit, all right? Despite pledging to take a break before stepping back into the boxing ring, Raleigh Romero resurfaced following an affront from Bill Haney and his son, Devin Haney. Following his eighth round TKO loss to Isaac Pitbull Pitbull, Raleigh Romero found himself barraged by taunts from both fellow boxers and fans. Many suggested he should consider hanging up his gloves and pursuing a different career path. The onslaught of criticism seemed to have struck a nerve as numerous professionals wasted no time in piling on after his defeat. Oscar de la Hoya took the lead in trolling Rolando Romero, appearing on camera after the bout with mocking laughter directed at Romero. Following de la Hoya's lead, the Olympic gold medalist was seen offering advice to Romero, urging him never to insult promoters again. Then came Ryan Garcia, who took trolling to another level by suggesting that Romero should consider leaving the boxing ring altogether and pursuing a different career path. Garcia humorously proposed influencer boxing as an option, and fans quickly gathered under his post on X, expressing their agreement. Some fans remarked that Rolando Romero ought to explore new career options. Hopefully, he finds one swiftly. From being a world champion to a job seeker, how swiftly circumstances alter. Undoubtedly, this transition must have been disheartening for Raleigh Romero. Nonetheless, the CEO and owner of his promotional team, Mayweather Promotions, approached him with words of encouragement. They both admired his resilience and determination in facing a formidable opponent and urged him to prepare for a remarkable comeback following his second defeat in three matches. Just as Raleigh Romero was about to retract his statement, an unexpected figure stepped forward with commendation. Devin Haney, in an interview, deliberately avoided mentioning Raleigh Romero despite their turbulent past. Despite their contentious history, Haney offered words of encouragement and admiration for Romero. However, soon after, he joined the ranks of those poking fun at him. 
As the discussion veered towards his impending matchup with Ryan Garcia, the Dream found himself engaged in a dialogue. Abruptly, the focus shifted to Isaac Pitbull Cruz's performance against Rolando, prompting the interviewer to probe Devin Haney's perspective. He looked impressive, can't fault his effort. Cruz fought with determination, executing his game plan flawlessly, remarked the reigning WBC light welterweight champion regarding the newly crowned WBA belt holder. Devin Haney remarked on Rolando Romero's display of resilience, acknowledging his fortitude despite the tough circumstances. Haney highlighted Romero's ability to persevere through injury, refusing to give up even when given the chance. He commended Romero for his determination, expressing respect for his commitment to continue fighting. However, it was a somber conclusion for Romero, who had engaged in pre-fight trash talk but ultimately faced criticism for his arrogance. Even as Devin Haney expressed himself, he demonstrated his ability to defy the prevailing opinion and uphold his beliefs. Anyone who caught his viral interview might have thought he held only positive sentiments toward Romero. However, not much time passed before he and his father, accompanied by a small group, were caught on camera watching videos of Isaac Cruz's knockout win and mocking Romero in response. Initially, they stayed quiet, but the persistent teasing from those around them eventually pushed them to join in, as everyone else chuckled at Ryan Garcia's suggestion of Romero transitioning into an influencer boxer, with some even playfully suggesting him becoming their valet. Bill Haney joined in the laughter, thoroughly enjoying the moment. He just didn't look at him like that. He used to have a lot of sh stuff to say, so, you know, I mean, from that perspective, but, I mean, Isaac did what he was supposed to do. It definitely, he definitely ain't got nothing for Devin. My daughter's a big puncher if your chin is there. Anybody, anybody, you know what I mean? It doesn't take but five pounds of, uh, of pressure. However, the mood shifted when Raleigh Romero unexpectedly responded to both father and son, declaring, my comeback starts with you. This surprising retort left everyone stunned, sparking speculation among fans about the potential of a Romero versus Devin Haney matchup. Realistically, though, such a bout seems improbable given Devin Haney's status as a champion primarily focused on facing top contenders. With Romero's recent defeat, he's far from being in contention for such a match. A plausible scenario unfolds as Devin Haney surrenders his belt to Ryan Garcia, landing him in a situation reminiscent of Romero's. To those acquainted with Haney's previous expressions of sympathy for Raleigh Romero, the subsequent reactions from both him and his father prove startling. Yet it's worth noting that Romero himself hasn't always been the epitome of composure. Drawing criticism, particularly given his past clashes with Haney. Devin Haney and Rolando Romero have shared no affection whatsoever. They've been engaged in a continuous exchange of insults on social media. With Haney, the WBC lightweight champion, even going as far as posting a video on his Instagram. In the video, he stands next to a heap of trash, rummaging through it while hurling insults at Romero, implying that his boxing skills are subpar. This action suggests that Haney had already been hinting at Romero's potential career change long before, which doesn't come as a surprise to those who've been following their feud closely. Romero's disinterest in facing Haney stemmed from their differing fighting styles. While Haney, based in Las Vegas, Nevada, tends to employ a cautious outboxing strategy, Romero sought a more explosive matchup. When comparing Haney to Davis, their approaches to the sport couldn't be more different, Romero noted. At that time, Romero had yet to face off against Gervonta Tank Davis. When weighing his options, Romero prioritized entertainment value and explosive potential. I go after the big fish. I don't waste time on email champs. He's a bum with no chin, Romero remarked referring to both Haney and Davis. Meanwhile, it's no surprise that many fans didn't hesitate to join in on the criticism of Raleigh Romero after his loss to Isaac Cruz. Romero's own behavior leading up to the fight, including constant trash talk aimed at Cruz, left little sympathy for him in defeat. From interviews to social media, Romero didn't hold back in disparaging his opponent. When questioned about Gervonta Davis, Romero didn't mince words either, expressing his desire to knock him out and his disdain for him. He even went as far as to downplay Davis's record, claiming others like Pitbull had already given him a beating. Romero's antics may have turned some heads, but ultimately, his defeat only served to highlight the consequences of his own actions. During the same interview, Raleigh Romero shifted gears from criticizing Gervonta Tank Davis to taking jabs at Devin Haney. 
When reporters inquired about his prediction for a potential match between Devin Haney and George Cambosos Jr., Romero didn't hold back. You know where my allegiance lies? With Cambosos. Why? Because I can't stand Devin Haney and his demeanor, he expressed. When pressed about a potential bout with Haney for the undisputed title, Romero didn't mince words. I'm not interested in facing a lackluster fighter. I'm out here contending with a true champion like Gervonta Davis a genuine multi-division champ. I won't waste my time with Haney, who's just an email champion, or Cambosos, who lucked out against Teofimo, he retorted. Indeed, Raleigh Romero has been subject to a barrage of insults and trolling, a consequence of his own adeptness at engaging in such behavior. As the trolls escalate from mere jibes to outright discouragement regarding his boxing career, the situation becomes increasingly disheartening for Romero. Amidst this, Haney extends a job offer while Garcia proposes his own concept. Reflecting on Romero's victory over Anthony Yigit among his 15 wins, it's clear he possesses the potential to rebound from his defeat against Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Overall, Raleigh Romero's response to the criticism following his fight against Isaac Cruz highlights the competitive and often contentious nature of professional boxing. Romero's willingness to engage with Haney's critique and defend his performance demonstrates his confidence and belief in his abilities as a boxer. As both fighters continue to pursue success and titles in the lightweight division, the rivalry and tension between Romero and Haney add an intriguing subplot to the broader narrative of the sport, setting the stage for potential future matchups and conflicts inside the ring. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.